Then your very first step is placing your pockets. This particular fabric this has a print to it, and so I specifically, as I cut this out, laid the jacket front out so that the pocket would be where the bear is. And if you look, then I found another spot on my fabric as I laid it out where the fabric for my pocket is exactly the same as the fabric for the jacket at that point in time. So when the pocket is sewn, it will completely line up and align and look good with that. We're going to follow the directions in your pattern guide with one additional step to it. Okay. And again, as I flip this over, this is a good example of, you can see the right side of the fabric versus the wrong side of the fabric. This bear just looks a little bit more out of focus, if you will. Okay. So the first step that we're going to add, we're going to have you put a piece of fusible stay tape along the top edge of that pocket because, again, this fabric tends to stretch quite a bit going around and around. And as you sew, the pressure of your presser foot against the feed dogs actually stretches and pulls that fabric as it sews, and your fabric grows as you sew, and it winds, out becoming, winds up becoming longer coming out of the back of the sewing machine than it was going in. And so you're going to put on this fusible stay tape. You'll pull out your pattern. You will cut the stay tape the length of your pattern piece, not your fabric, because your fabric may have already been pulled and stretched a little bit. So pull out your pattern piece, cut that, and then the stay tape aligns. So if you look at this, the bottom of the tape is just that five inches away, five eighths of an inch, excuse me, five eighths of an inch from that top along that edge of the pocket. And then it is fusible, so you are going to put your um, press cloth over the top of it, and then you'll press and steam this, and notice that the iron sits just barely on the tape. You will not be pressing this project as you go because it is a polyester. Polyester takes a lower heat, and it's a fleece, and part of the insulative, fact, uh, insulative value of fleece is the fact that there is air, there are air pockets in there. And if you press it, the um, polyester will fuse to itself, and those air pockets will be pressed out, if you will, and you will lose some of the insulated value of your, of your fabric. And so once that stay tape is pressed in place, then let it set and cool. And then if you look at your guide sheet, it says the very first step is you are going to hem the top of uh, the opening to your, to your pocket. And so you will take this, you fold that back on the fold line, right sides together, and just pin that edge, pin that edge down. Okay. And if all goes well, that edge that you folded over is the same width from top to bottom. And if it's not folded quite right, adjust that just a little bit so that it is. And then we are going to sew the seam of this pocket. And the seam of the pocket is just this little edge here and that little edge there. And so we are going to sew a 5 eighths of an inch backstitch, sew and backstitch, backstitch, sew and backstitch to sew those things with the pocket. All right, so here we are at the sewing machine. We are ready to sew that little 5 eighths of an inch seam. So we're just going to start. Take out the pin as you sew. And sew down that edge. And we are just literally starting and stopping in that little teeny section there that is the seam for that pocket hem, pocket hem top and bottom. Okay, so when both of your seams are sewn, then in order to reduce bulk, we are just going to trim the seam allowance of the pocket facing. So I'm just going to cut up and trim that seam allowance down and take that piece out. And I'm going to do that on both sides. And again, the purpose for this is just to reduce the bulk in that area. Okay. And then we're going to take that hem and turn it towards the inside of the pocket. So that is where the hand will slide into the pocket. And yes, this jacket is small. It's actually being made for a three-year-old child. And so it 
this pocket will be smaller than what your pockets are. So that's creating the space for that to head into. So from the inside here, we want to be certain, if you look at this edge here, if we put the seam right on the side, the chance is it might show on the right side of it. And so we're going to slightly favor that edge and slightly roll that seam just barely to the inside of that pocket and pin that into place. And we want to do that on both ends so that we have just barely, barely favored the edge of that and the seam stays hidden and doesn't show on the right side. So once those two ends, once your two ends are pinned in place so that you've got that edge favored, okay, the hem of your pocket should be about just about an inch and a quarter. So just get your hem gauge out, measure that, and pin that in place. And even though the opening is short, don't be afraid to put a couple of pins in there because this is a knit fabric. It does tend to stretch a little bit. And so we want it to stay in place and, and not have it stretch or move as you sew and have it take that measurement that we've got here that's nice and straight and as you sew it will become a curve or an arc if you don't get that pinned well. So pin that in place and then we are going to come back and sew the hem into our pocket there. Okay, we are now ready to sew down the side seam. You just start there or sew down the, the hem of the pocket here. So you just start. You do not back stitch because this stitching is going to show on the face of the garment. We are actually sewing right there on the face of the garment. Even though the pins are on the bottom side, you can see where they are and take the pins out as you get to them. So that you don't sew over the top of them. And we're just sewing that pocket hem in place. And as I approached that seam, notice that I just kind of looked up under, saw where my hem was, or saw where that seam was that I'm trying to be sure I favor, and I just rolled it over, rolled it to the back side to make sure it stays under, and then I'm holding it in place with my fingers there to make sure that it stays rolled under. And then again, you don't backstitch. You are just going to pull a thread through and tie a knot so that we don't wind up with stitching, knots on, or backstitching on the top that shows where we don't want it. Okay, we are now ready to pull the thread through and then pin this onto our jacket.